Okay, this is a SOS sport oven, solar oven that I got several years ago. So there's a lot of different solar ovens out there and you can make your own of course, but if you don't want to bother and you want something that definitely works and pre-made, uh, this certainly will work. So as you can see, this is what it comes with. It came with a couple of uh, nice pots. Okay, so you can fit two things in there. It's got uh, extra reflectors which we can put on the outside. If you want to get the temperature really up into like the 400s, you would use it the reflectors. I don't usually bother with it because usually what I cook uh, high 200s are plenty hot enough to do what I do. And you get a couple recipe books and of course your top here that goes on top. So we'll take it outside. There's a thermometer that came with it too that's covered. And we'll see how long it takes to heat up. Um, I'm just going to be making uh, some no pumpkins in here. It should be get plenty hot without the reflectors. So we'll take a look and see how it does. Okay, I just put it outside. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock, so right now it's at about zero temperature. So we'll see how long it takes to heat up to where I want. So it's a spring day with a sunny day, so we'll see what happens. Okay, it's about 15 minutes later, and it's almost up to 250 right now, just after 15 minutes. Okay, I got a few nice seminal pumpkins here. I'm going to uh, split them in half, clean them out, and we're going to put them in the solar oven. All right, they're all cleaned out, ready to go. I kept a few seeds also to put in. Okay, I put them in the pan upside down, as you can see, with some aluminum foil. Stuck the seeds in there just to, to toast those. Okay, stuck them in there, and it was around 275, 280. Okay, it's just afternoon. So we're gonna leave them in here right about an hour, 15 minutes. Okay, this should be done. So, you know, solar oven is definitely a must-have for uh, emergency uh, preparedness, okay, since it requires no power, just sunlight. So, you know, you definitely, if you're serious about that, you want to have it. And it's also very handy around the house. Here in Florida in the summer, it's so hot I can't keep the air temperature below 80, 81 degrees in the house. So if I wanted to cook some in the oven, you know, that just compounds a problem. And so this is handy in the summer to cook something outside instead of heating up the house even more than it already is. This is also useful for camping, like car camping or RV camping, if you have the room. This is not heavy at all, it's very lightweight, but it is bulky. So because it's bulky, uh, you know, that's the only problem with it. But it's definitely handy, you know, it's a way to have an oven without uh, having an oven in your trailer or in your car. Just have it outside if you have enough sun. All right, so we'll give this some time to see what happens. Okay, um, I left this out here actually to, uh, about two and a half, three hours, because uh, you really can't overcook food in this. There's very few things that will burn, so you can't, don't really have to worry about that with most foods. So you can see it does uh, get some condensation on the inside from, you know, the food, moisture in the food. Um, so that does happen, and that is normal. So I'm going to take this out here in just a little bit, and we'll try it, see what it looks like. Okay, this did come with a, a nice manual, and this this is one page out of it that kind of shows the typical cooking temperatures, uh, and and without the uh, added reflectors that you can put on the sides, it, it actually says that you know normally you're not going to need the reflectors, you don't need it to get that hot. So the normal cooking temperature is right around here. It's be you know in the 200s, okay, about two low 200s to mid 200s, which is what it's been on for me. Uh, all day without the additional reflectors on it and so you know that's that's what they say is right you know you want it, it's slow cooking and it won't burn it it's almost like a crock pot a little bit and you can even pasteurize water as long as it's 149 degrees or higher uh, for 10 minutes it's set in another page so if you got it at 150 degrees or higher for 10 minutes water is pasteurized and it's safe to drink so that's another use of this uh, you can use it to uh, to treat water an emergency situation so that's that's nice to know so a lot of good uses all right so we're going to be taking out the, the food here in just a second and we'll see what it looks like okay just brought them in here and yeah, they definitely look nice and cooked you can see the seeds are uh, toasted okay and this is just exactly how they should look steam coming off of them There's a little moisture in the bottom that's okay that's it's normal yeah, so these look great. Turned out great. So again, that's uh, using the solar oven. 
Um, I mean, you can cook stuff pretty much for hours, just set it and leave it. You don't have to really worry about it, as long as it cooks, you know, the minimum amount that it needs. Okay, it's about 7 in the morning, um, and I've got to go to work soon, so I'm going to put these red potatoes in the pot, leave it here all day in the solar oven, and we'll see how it does. It's supposed to uh, work great, uh, leaving it out all day, something like this, so that's what we're going to do. Put it in the pot, put the cover on, and we'll see how it does when I get home. Okay, so it's uh, after about 4.30, so we're going to take a look. It has been partly cloudy today, so we'll see if these has got enough sun to cook or not. So we're going to open the lid and check. Okay, always want to use mitts. Okay, looks like it's steaming. You can see some... You can see some fluid in here, so it looks like it's cooked. I'm going to bring it inside, and we'll take a closer look. Stick it with a fork. We'll be able to tell a lot better. All right, we're going to do the fork test. Yeah, it's very soft. Yeah, these have definitely cooked. All right, so there's potatoes with no effort while you're away from home for the day. So it worked pretty good. Okay, ready to eat. Okay, solar oven. I think it's pretty much a must-have if you're uh, in emergency preparedness and very useful around the house too and useful for car camping or small RV camping. Uh, I'll put a link in the description box below, uh, Amazon link if you want to check prices of the pre-made uh, solar ovens that are available. Uh, and you certainly can check into uh, making one yourself also. All right, so hopefully this was helpful. See you later.